Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to handle special characters during Unix programming. So let's start today's tutorial. So very first and very simple character is nothing but new line, which is more often used in your programming. Sometimes we need to print or content on new line. But we don't need to write that code, actual code in the with a new line. So there are some special character we can utilize and we can make coding more simpler and easier. However, when you use a new line or if you enter the new line, it is not treated as a new line. It will be printed as a single line. So how can we achieve a new line? So you know that you have, we have to use a special character called as a backward slash n. So it will print the uh, it will it will print the content in the new line. However, sometimes if you directly use uh, backward slash n, the Unix interpreter will not detect as a new line. We have to append option called as a hyphen e or minus e to enable interpreter of black backslash as an escape character so here is an example where we are defining variable 10 and we are going to echo with the value of a it's variable 1 and at the end we are going to use the back backslash n we are going to see how it is going to behave with option hyphen e and with option no hyphen so the same example but little tweak in this so you can say we have variable 1 equal to 10 we are echoing value of a is well variable 1 at the end backwards slash n and we are using option hyphen e in the second echo statement we are printing the same value value of a of a is variable 1 backwards slash n but this time we are not going to use hyphen e option what do you think what up what will happen so let's go back uh, and execute this program so you can see if you use option hyphen e the new new line will be printed you can see the new blank line is printed however if you do not use hyphen e the backslash n is treated as a literal value that's the reason it is treated as the same value same text value and it will not have any special meaning but if you use hyphen e the backslash will be treated or interpreted as a escape character and that's the reason it is going to print a new line this is the way you can create a new line using your program while execution you have to use hyphen e let's go back and see some more special character special characters hyphen capital e or small e option a uh, hyphen capital e option to disable the interpreter of black slash escape that is default if you use small hyphen e then it is enable the interpreter hyphen n option to disable the insertion of new line if you want to use you can use the hyphen n too the other special characters are backslash to use backslash hyphen a to alert hyphen b to backspace hyphen c to suppress trailing new line hyphen f for form feed hyphen n for new line hyphen r for carriage return hyphen t for horizontal tab hyphen v for vertical tab so these are the special character handlings we can use in our program so let's see a couple of examples around that. We can try with backslash and let's say new line. So we are written on program like uh, backslash. So here if you see we have defined variable 1 with value 10 echo with our option E value of uh, A is variable 1 hyphen N and second line is here hyphen uh, echo hyphen e write black slash black slash like 
and here we are using escape character as a backslash then we are separating echo with some stars then echo value of a is variable one backslash and and second line is here but if you notice in this time at this time we are not going to use hyphen e option the same line we have the next right backslash like backslash backslash but with no e minus e option let's execute and see what is the output of this program so if you see the value of a is 10 and the second line is here then write backslash like only one single backslash not double one because it is treated as a special character if you do not use minus e option value of a is 10 and there is a backslash n mm. so that's the reason it is treating as a literal character as we have seen in earlier example and the second line is here it is not printing in the new line right backslash like backslash one so in the both the cases the second output is printed correctly that means backslash is interpreted as a backslash but for earlier case minus n will not a uh, hyphen backslash n will not be treated as a new line and that's the reason we have to use the hyphen e option let's go back and see some more details about the special character handling command substitution it is the mechanism by which the shell performs a given set of commands and then substitutes their output in a place of command like you can use command in the codes when performing the command substitution make sure that you are use the back code, back code not the single code so back code is near to the tilt sign and single codes near to the enter button so you can use the appropriate code it's it's a back code and not a single code remember that here is the example we are creating a date variable date one variable and providing the system date with the back codes and we are printing today's date is date similarly we are running the command who counts user counts and we are printing here all users logged in R means it will give the count of number of users logged in and we are printing date and uptime using up variable so all these commands like date users up if you see if you if you can see it's it's like commands and we are using those commands as a variable in our program so let's see and execute this so for that we have written our program here it's a uh, date example so date one is ex date we are printing current date then we, we are going to echo it then we are creating users how many users with who and who world count hyphen l and then echo that all logged in users are that that is the count and we are printing up date and uptime and the uptime is as a variable up so let's execute this program and see what happens so it is perfectly printing the correct output today's date is sunday all users logged in are two uptime is sunday and this is the time so all details are printed correctly and what are we are expected so that means we can encode or we can use the commands in our regular echo statement as well so these are for today's session i hope you learn something new about unix if you have any questions or queries you can mention in the comment section of this video thank you again for watching my video if you like my video then do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you have a nice time